Morning. The United States wants Peter Nygaard extradited to New York. He's been in custody for nine months and today appeared by video in a Manitoba court. CBC News and other media outlets won the right to have cameras in the courtroom for the hearing. This is the case of the United States versus Nygaard. Nygaard agreed to fast-track the extradition process, sending his case straight to Canada's Minister of Justice, who will decide if he should be surrendered to the U.S. You will not be surrendered until the expiry of 30 days and that you have the right to appeal the order that's now been granted and you also have the contemporaneous right to apply for judicial interim release or bail. Do you understand that? <clears throat> yes, I do. His lawyers say what happened today is not an admission of guilt. Mr. Nygaard denies any allegations of criminal conduct. While Nygaard was in court, news broke that the Toronto Police Service had issued an arrest warrant for him on nine charges of sexual assault and forcible confinement related to six accusers, the only Canadian charges he's facing. Last year, eight women came forward to Winnipeg Police, but so far, no charges have been laid. To learn that the Toronto police and court system found six victims in, in Toronto to be more credible and charge-worthy than the eight Winnipeg victims is a disgrace. Winnipeg police say they sent their case file to Crown prosecutors in December to review for possible charges. Manitoba Justice won't say if it's looking into it or if the case is now closed. As for the extradition, it's now up to the federal justice minister to decide if Nygaard should be sent to the U.S. and whether or not he should answer to the Toronto charges first. Either way, it's likely months before a decision is made. In the meantime, Nygaard can once again apply for bail. Caroline Bargood, CBC News, Winnipeg.